Good morning. Pastor Sandra Stallman here. I would like to talk with you today about the issue of letting go. Letting go is not an easy thing for some of us. It is um, something that many times we have to learn how to do. And letting go takes a tiny bit of courage and a lot of faith sometimes. God's Word says in Revelation 21 and 5, Behold, I make all things new. God truly does that. He will make us new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Is that how it is in your life today? Have many old things passed away? and have all things become new? Well, if you've had trouble with getting some old things to pass away, you need to understand that God is going to help you with that. Many of us do have trouble letting go of old things. It's not so hard if we have a chair in our living room that's been there for 20 years to let that chair go and buy a new one that we've seen in a furniture store that we really love we can get rid of that chair pretty quick. We can either sell it or we can give it away. But when we know that we're changing and that we are becoming like the disciples of Christ when Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. When we realize that we are on the potter's wheel and that Jesus is attempting to transform us we have to understand that we've got to let him do it. And that takes trust. That takes trust. It's something that we're all working on. And I want to let you know that God is going to help you to let go of the old. And I don't just mean furniture. We have got old ways. Even some people in our lives that God will help us let go of those people. Even people we've tried to help God to change. Maybe he just wants us to let him do it. Proverbs 3 and 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. What a scripture that has been for me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. For many years, I begged God for understanding. I wanted to understand everything He did in my life. I wanted to understand the why and the wherefore of everything God. That didn't work because, like everyone else who goes through knowing Christ, he does not reveal all the answers to us at once. There are times that we have to wait on God. There are times that we have to lay it on the altar and walk away and let him have it. There are times that are, for us, maybe a bit frustrating because we don't have all the answers written down for us. But that's what faith is. Faith is that very thing. It's believing God's heart is for us when we cannot trace his hand, when we cannot understand, when we know him in his heart for us well enough that we don't have to have that understanding written out for us. That's what trusting in the Lord is. And that is what he wants us to do. Some of you are going through difficult things with your families right now. Some of you are going through difficult things with finances economics and your job. What I would say to you today is trust him. Give it to him and let him lead you and guide you. He may have something completely new for you. Something that you never thought of doing before. Something that you have never even dreamed of. I know people right now that are changing everything in this season. It's a season of growth. It's a season of coming out from behind the door, the rut. It's a season of change. We're all going through it. God is in charge. He's not going to let you fall through the cracks.
Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. Behold, I make all things new. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Let him make you new. Let him make you brand new. Let him breathe his breath of life into you once again. And let God have his inheritance in you. As it says in Paul's prayer of Ephesians 1. Yeah. Jesus has an inheritance in you. That's why he's going to let you go. He bought you. He redeemed you by his blood. And he knows you and he loves you like no one else can do. Let go and let God.